Come up to the lab and see what's on the slab. I want to learn the ways of the Force and become a Jedi like my father. Welcome to another installment of Trailer Trash. Thank you, Dino. But uh, we're going to continue this week with a uh, another installment of uh, classic Jerry Lewis films. Um, I'm your host, Scotty J. For Scotty J's Trailer Trash, and uh, we're going to start this week with uh, a film called The Patsy. Very similar to some of his earlier films, uh, especially one called The Errand Boy, which dealt with basically a gopher through the Hollywood film industry. Um, we're going to follow that up with a, uh, a film called The Family Jewels. As I mentioned at the close of last week's show, Family Jewels was unique in the case that, uh, that Jerry played seven different characters in this film. It's very cool, and you'll see that. You'll be introduced to each of the characters in this trailer. But, uh, and we're going to end that with a, uh, a film called The Big Mouth. He brought back the, uh, the physical character of... Uh, he brought back the, uh, the character from The Nutty Professor, he he, the physical character. Not the, not the same name, but you'll see what I mean in visual appearance. But uh, let's take a look at these, and uh, we'll be right back. as the lovable, gullible innocent, who becomes the mark for six wily characters in search of their bread and butter. Stanley, my boy. Yeah. How would you like to make $150 each and every week? <laughs> All right. All right. 175 but that's it. I just got to tell you this. I'm not doing nothing, nothing illegal. Stanley. Do we look dishonest? <laughs> Jerry Lewis, a bouncy bellboy who falls for their baloney and their blarney. goes into training to make like a star. This is you. What, do you expect another fella? They try to make him look like a star. Romance like a star. <gasps> Tap dance like a star. Make personal appearances like a star. Yet one day he has to face the moment of truth and find out he's only a patsy, but the funniest, most lovable patsy you ever did see.
I say, if you would just pay attention here for a moment, I would like to show you the simply fantastic tricks that I do in the scene from my latest cinema, The Family Jewels. You see, it all comes about when I, while searching for my little niece, Donna, ends up in this absolutely dreadful pool parlor. Steady now. Here it comes. Hey, creep. Hold it a second. What are you, some kind of monopoly or something? Hey, you, up in the booth. Stop this film this second. Oh, dash. Ah, uh, look, folks. I'm in this picture, too. And Donna is by these also. Hey, projector creep. Show my part. See? There I am. And there's Donna. Pretty cute, huh? And that Donna ain't so bad either. Get it? <laughs> uh, actually, Bugs, I'm in the family jewels, too. Uh, couldn't we just look at some of uh, me for a moment? Uh, you see, we're all brothers, and little Donna comes to live with each of us for a while. She's looking for a new father, and, uh... You're not going to give away the whole story, are you? At least let them get a look at all of us. Ah, uh, there I am, the world's greatest clown. Avast there, you painted fool! Let's get on to the He-Man side of this family! Now there's a man for you! Button down those jib stays there, you landlocked sea dogs! Good heavens there, Captain, show them some of me. I'm in the family jewels too, you know. <laughs> yes, sir, gang, there I am winging along to the wild blue with the swiftness of the wind. <laughs> Excuse me, Captain Eddie, I know I'm only the chauffeur, but couldn't we just show a little of me? Why, yes, good heavens, Willard. Off you go, lad. I'm not really one of Donna's uncles, but I am in the family jewels. In fact, we are all not only in the family jewels, we are the family jewels. Come and see us, won't you? Oh, I say up there, Mr. Projectionist, you may carry on. Now, watch closely. Here it comes, a jolly well fantastic trick. That I am good, you know. Now, did he say we were the family jewels or we're in the family jewels? Good heavens. It's vacation time again. Stroll through an amusement park with a pretty girl. Or go fishing. Or play tennis. Or perhaps you prefer indoor sports. This movie has everything. It's called The Big Mouth. It's Jerry Lewis. And he's in big trouble. It's The Big Mouth versus The Big Mob. Co-starring Harold J. Stone, Charlie Callis, Buddy Lester, Del Moore, and introducing Susan Bay and Janine Riley. As a matter of fact, that's happened to me on a number of occasions. Just yesterday, someone came up to me and took me for a Gregory Peck. <laughs> You're kidding. What's the problem here, man? A 309 and a 107. Oh, resisting arrest and a licky muffler, huh? No, driving on the wrong side and faulty taillights. No, no, it was just that I was fishing and the man came out of the ocean. I said speeding and expired license plate. But 309 is resisting arrest. That's impossible. It's impossible. It certainly is impossible. Fantastic. Calamitous. I have very big problems. Among other things, I think I'm losing my mind. You're just ridiculous. Why don't you try a cold shower? A cold shower? With Jerry running loose, everybody's losing his mind. I am not. I was. I I love you! Absolutely impossible! I'm gonna kill him! Shoot him! Ha, <laughs> ha,
Yeah, the whole idea with Jerry being involved with spies and espionage and this and this and this, and uh, he made it work. As as goofy and ludicrous as it may have appeared, it worked. Um, and then the family jewels. That just that just shows Jerry's true genius and you know and the makeup, the costume, the props department, as well as character development. I mean, he was just a genius all the way around, and he did it himself. He didn't have a team of writers. He didn't have a wardrobe consultant, he did it on his own. He busted his, he did it on his own. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna take a break, and then uh, we're gonna uh, take a look at uh, Jerry's take on the whole marriage slash girlfriend thing. Yeah. Uh, we'll be right back. Emergency. Batman speaking, warning all of you to brace yourselves for big news. The biggest. Tell them, Robin. Holy surprise, Batman. It's really exciting. Soon, very soon, Batman and I will be batapulting right out of your TV sets and onto your theater screens. That's right, Robin. Our first full-length motion picture feature in color opens a whole new world of thrills. <laughs> space on land, sea, and in the air to challenge the most bataclysmic collection of super criminals ever. Their minimum objective must be the entire world. And here are the dastardly villains, the Catwoman. You're going to see the perfect crime when I get Batman in my claws. The Joker. Have you heard this one? It'll kill you, Batman. <laughs> the Penguin. There are two eggs this wily bird is going to scramble. Batman and Robin. <laughs> the Riddler. Question. Who's going to make the feathers fly and knock Batman and Robin out of the sky? See, the new weapons in the Bat Arsenal combat the forces of evil. The Batcopter. The exploding, man-eating shark. Holy sardine! The relentless Megaton Magnet. The unholy quartet secret submarine. Fire one! Fire one! Batboat in action. The deadly disintegrator. The attack on the Batcave. Holy hallucination! You'll blast through the skies on these mad, manned missiles. And you'll be with me, Robin, at the Bat Scanner, eavesdropping on Batman's romance. And you'll shudder at the death-dealing Polaris missiles. Brace yourself, Robin. This could be the end. And that's just a sample of the exciting exploits ahead in our first feature motion picture. Holy memoranda, folks. Make a note not to miss it. Good thinking, Robin. Thanks for joining us again. This is Scotty J on behalf of Scotty J's Trailer Trash. And uh, if you have any comments on the show, let us know what you think. Uh, viewer response line number is 533-1710. Yeah, I know we're not polka, but we are still another choice. God forbid, you know, there is more to life out there, so to speak. But um, this last block of trailers, we're going to take a look at, uh, actually, the last pair of trailers. First one's entitled Hook, Line, and Sinker. Um, for uh, those of you slash us that are uh, recently married, <laughs> uh, you'll get the point when you see the, when you see the trailer. Uh, just kidding, honey. Um, anyway, and then we're going to go into one of uh, basically Jerry Lewis's last feature film that he, written, uh, he had written, produced, and directed called uh, Hardly Working. It's a short trailer, but you see the classic uh, Lewis slapstick coming into play in all of 30 seconds. 
But uh, we're going to take a look at these, and uh, we'll be right back. So kick back, enjoy, bust a gut, split your sides. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> You're a contented for beautiful home, lovely wife, two healthy children, a faithful dog, everything a man could ask for. Suddenly, your doctor, who's also your best friend, breaks the news that you have only a few months to live. Jerry Lewis takes the news pretty hard in Hook, Line, and Sinker. Peter Lawford takes it even harder. On the other hand, Jerry's wife, Ann Francis, is positively enthusiastic. Go fishing. I mean the half-day boat out of Malibu Pier. I mean real fishing. Like you've always wanted. The Caribbean, the Mediterranean. That sounds marvelous, honey, but where am I going to get the money? Where's your wallet? Right there. Granite Life and Casualty, that's where. Diners Club, Carte Blanche, Global Express. You can sign yourself onto any airline. You can go into any hotel, any restaurant. You can buy out the best men's shops. You can charter a boat even and hire a crew. The temptation is irresistible. Sure, it's stealing, but they don't put corpses in prison, do they? Oh. Help! Oh. 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 Help me! As the complete angler, you play all the angles and come up with all the curves. You're loaded to the gills. determined to be the life of the party, even if it kills you. Then your pal, the doctor, shows up with more bad news. A hundred thousand clams. Now you tell me I'm gonna live. Holy cow, who's gonna pay all these bills? I had this glimmer of a notion. Well, try me. I mean, I'll do anything. I have no choice. No, it's too big a sacrifice. Just say what you're going to say. Let me make the decision. Very simply, your problem would be over if you were to die. You were right. It's too big a sacrifice. There's only one way to get out of this alive. How? You'll never guess. You'll find out when Jerry lands the biggest fun catch of them all. America, Jerry's back. The world's funniest funny man has something to say about inflation and unemployment. For all us working stiffs, he's the original jerk. Bumbling and stumbling. It's Jerry Lewis in his first new motion picture in a long time. Oh, I like that. Hardly working. More fun than a day off. I'm back. Um, what did I like to say about hardly working? Um, I had seen the film, and though it was classic Lewis comedy, I guess the audience that it was released for in the 80s when it was made didn't truly appreciate that type of comedy and therefore the movie was a major failure. Um, it is available on video, so please check it out. If you're a Jerry Lewis fan, check it out. You'll appreciate the, the standard old slapstick compared to, as I've said time and again, the potty mouth humor of the 80s, 90s, and today. Um, but we're going to take a break, and uh, we're going to come back with a, uh, a viewer's choice, Jerry Lewis. We'll be right back. Let's all swing along with Ideal's new Betsy Wetsy. Come along, swing along with Betsy Wetsy, a baby doll that's really new. Rub a dub in her tub with Betsy Wetsy, the doll Ideal made just for you. 
Betsy's tub goes here, Betsy's tub goes there. Her hair is almost real. So bathe and dress and care for her. For you, she is ideal. Ideals Betsy Wet drinks and wets and cries and frets. All Betsy Wetsies come with layettes. And you can get Betsy Wetsy with wind-up swing or with her own tub that fits any bathtub. She's a wonderful doll. She's ideal. men from Bonanza, the Cartwrights, the greatest Western toys ever. Little Joe, fastest left-handed draw in the West. Ben, the toughest pioneer who ever rode the plains. And Hoss, always ready for a good fight. You can even get the outlaw, the meanest desperado you ever saw. Watch out! He's getting away! Hit him, Hoss! Pow! You got him! And you can get the trail-blazing four-in-one Bonanza wagon. Each Cartwright comes complete with over a dozen accessories. Each horse has action ooze. You can buy Little Joe's Pinto, Hoss's Stallion, and Ben's Big Buckskin. The action men from Bonanza will put you right in the Wild West. Buy American Character, the hottest brand around. present an exciting and unusual collection of wild animals. Each and every one of them balls, monkeys, tigers, bears, all with no fur. Wait, let's look again. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. But watch this. Take him from his cage, set him on a circus platform, and within three days, Fuzzy Wuzzy will grow his own fur. And then, use Fuzzy Wuzzy to wash. Because Fuzzy Wuzzy is made of wonderful mild soap. And the cleaner you get, the quicker you'll find the toy surprise that's inside of each Fuzzy Wuzzy. So look for Fuzzy Wuzzy circus animals in their cages. Fuzzy Wuzzy bath soap. It grows its own fur. This, uh, this last trailer in, the, uh, in our infamous Jerry Lewis Trailer Trash Trilogy is uh, basically what I, what I like to refer to as a viewer's choice. Um, a friend of mine who had seen the show had, uh, had wanted to see this one one more time because it was his favorite Jerry Lewis film. Um, so Joel, this one's for you. This is uh, one called The Ladies' Man, which some of us can relate to. And uh, basically, that's going to be it. Uh, coming up next week, we're going to start, uh, we're going to take a look back at some old 70s horror films. Some, old, some of them made for TV, some of them not, but they're all horrible nonetheless, with a, with a special focus on the original Planet of the Apes films. So until next week, this is Scotty J, host of Scotty J's Trailer Trash. Once again, reminding you, please let us know what you think, 533-1710 is the viewer response line number. So until next week, we'll see you next week for Scotty J's Trailer Trash. Hollywood's biggest, most elaborate, most expensive studio stage set of all time is constructed before your eyes. 500 miles of wire, 100 tons of structural steel, acres of wood, carloads of nails, barrels of paint, and only one thing is missing to complete it all. The super nut. And here he is. <laughs> Girl shy, woman hating Jerry Lewis is a ladies' man? I love you, Sherry. Why are you crazy, lady? Jerry finds a haven of happiness as a handyman in a Hollywood hotel for girls only.
Jerry is the only man in this establishment where the females are more delicious than the food. And when you see it, you'll agree he's never had it so funny. That's right. You can go bear hunting, too, with the exciting bear hunt game. Bop a bear by Marks. You get this over-under big game gun, six rubber-tipped darts, and this big battery-powered grizzly bear. Batteries extra, of course. When you bop the bear... In